guys welcome back so today um i was gonna do a coffee and color with kk but i didn't fix me any coffee and it's hot as i don't know what right now <laughs> so i really don't want any coffee right now so we just about to plan some makeup and have some fun okay so and don't mind how shiny my forehead is i don't know why my forehead is glistening like that but we just go ignore that okay so anyways yes i got a few new things that i want to play with and i'm actually kind of scared about today's face because some of this stuff i don't know about so the first item that i'm going to be playing with today is a new eye brush set this is from morphe it's called the babes faves and it comes in this box here i've already taken them out you know rinsed them out and all that stuff but they all come individually wrapped in this box and this is supposed to be 15 of their most purchased or best selling eye brushes in this box okay and let me just show you on the back of the box this is what um comes in this brush set if you can see that so there are quite a few eye brushes in here so i should be able to do a whole eye look if not then i got a problem <laughs> but that's what comes in this set now i think i paid 52 dollars for this set so it's not a cheap set but you guys i have never tried morphe brushes ever ever and you know of course all the big youtubers use the morphe brushes and they're always like i'm using brush xyz element op and i'm like i ain't even got that brush because i ain't got no morphe brush <laughs> so i decided to just buy me a set and this was like one of the lesser expensive groupings of brushes that i felt like had a nice good variety for me to try out for my eyes so pick this up I'm gonna be using those today kind of excited about it because okay I've never tried any morphe brushes i only got one morphe brush in one of my monthly subscription boxes and i was not impressed that thing looked crazy after i washed it so but we gonna we gonna see <laughs> also i'm finally going to try out my milani gilded rouge eyeshadow palette if you guys remember this was part of my last haul and take the plastic out okay okay and this is what this palette looks like as you can see i've already played in it and the first look i did i wasn't really feeling it so i'm gonna play in it again today okay also now this is what has me scared you guys it is the new Too faced born this way oil free multi-use complexion powder so basically a powder foundation and so this is from Too Faced. I got the color Spiced Rum because that's the shade that I wear in their regular liquid foundation. And so this is what it looks like. It comes in this cute little container. But you guys, I have never tried a powder foundation before in my life. So this is going to be totally new to me. Okay, so it pops open. I was trying to turn it. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't break it hopefully I didn't but it comes in this cute little compact as you can see it has a mirror and this is what the powder looks like it says born this way very cute and yes there's a little sponge in there that I'm not going to be using today so this is this powder foundation I don't know you know because I, I do my makeup and the regular steps that everybody else does you know foundation concealer powder and all of that so I'm like okay i guess i conceal first and then put this powder on top do i put a lighter powder under my eyes and then put this all over my face i don't know but we're gonna figure this out today together also i bought this mac 25th year lipstick i guess the viva glam in the fancy little red glitter packaging it is so pretty you guys i am just like dying to try this red lipstick so Whatever eye look I do, I hope it matches this lipstick because I sure enough going to put this on, okay? <laughs> but this is what the packaging looks like, you guys. Oh my gosh. Isn't it pretty? That is like so pretty. So, so pretty. I love it. I was like, I have to have it. I picked mine up from Ulta and this is what it looks like. Isn't that cute? It says 25 
Viva Glam Mac very cute so I'm gonna try this on today and I picked up a well it's not a new concealer I don't think it's new to me though this is just um, Maybelline concealer and I'm pretty sure I haven't tried this out and when I was in the drugstore I saw it and decided I wanted to try it out so this is 55 hazelnut 55 hazelnut so I guess I'm gonna put some of this on before the powder foundation so anyways enough of me yak yak yakking and blah blah yada yada I already got my eyebrows done thank you Jesus I'm going to prep my eyes using some of my Too Faced uh, Born This Way concealer because the one that I have is a little too light for me to use on my face so I'm gonna use this to prep my eyelids and then we'll come back and move forward with this palette Okay, you guys, so to start out this look, I'm going to go ahead and take this deep wine shade down here. It's called By the Glass, if I'm reading that correctly, By the Glass, and place it in my crease. And I'm going to be using my new Morphe E17 brush. It's kind of like a small crease blender brush. is nicely pigmented you guys it's very pretty it's not patchy at all you know I did just go in and build it up doing the pat pat method but it's pretty it's pretty and I must say I do really like this brush it gets in my crease area very nicely and it's nice and firm but it's not like too hard but it's just firm enough to get in that crease and pack that color down Okay, you guys, so now I want to take my Morphe E22 and go into the shade Sangria, which is like this really pretty kind of light peachy shade, and I'm going to use that to blend out that wine color. So that color is pretty. It blended out that first shade nicely. I do see a little bit more um, demarcation line for that first shade than I would like, but probably if I put in a little more work, I could blend it out, but it's taking a little bit longer to blend these two shades than I would like, but they look really pretty together. Okay, so now that I have those two shades blended together, I'm going to go into this dark shade here, which is Bewitched. It looks kind of like a royal blue shade. And I can't tell if that's like a satin or what. It doesn't look like completely matte. It doesn't look like shimmer. It kind of looks like a satin. But anyways, I'm going to take this smaller um, brush here. This is the M321 and just kind of pack that in my inner and outer corners just to kind of deepen those up a little bit. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Come on through, pigment. I ain't mad at you. Hello. That is way more pigmented than I thought it was. So I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more of that first plum shade just to kinda blend those together. Okay, so I think I blended those together as much as I'm going to for now. Now, I wanna play in some glitter. There are some gorgeous, gorgeous glitters and shimmers in this palette, you guys. Let me just swatch a few of these for you guys. okay you see how pretty those are oh my gosh so freaking gorgeous i think i'm going to play around with this one here yeah this purple glitter it has like a blue and purple and red reflect it looks like Ooh, -hoo, child. <laughs> okay and i don't see any flat round shader brushes in this set so that's not good 
<laughs> there's just this like flat square brush and mm, I, mm, I really don't want to use this for this but I'm going to because I don't want to use a fluffy brush I'm going to use some of my NYX glitter glue and I'm going to go in with wifey oh okay <laughs> so this one is called wifey Since I used that for the glitter glue, I am going to go ahead and use this fluffy brush, which is the, oh Lord have mercy, the M433, just to place the glitter on my lid. I could use my finger, I guess. That's pretty. <laughs> That's pretty. I like that, that is so pretty. Y'all like that? That's gorgeous. And you guys make sure whenever you are using glitter on your eyes to be extremely careful because no glitter is eye safe. And you know, I know everybody is not crazy like me <laughs> to take the risk and take the chance of possibly getting glitter in their eye but I try to be as careful as I can when placing the glitter use a glitter glue and when removing the glitter I'm extremely careful so just keep that in mind okay so now I have the basis of my eye look down how I want it to be I'm gonna go ahead throw on some black eyeliner and then we'll come back and we'll move into this new concealer and new foundation glitter all over my face but my eyeliner is done <laughs> so before I go in with this new Maybelline concealer though I do want to use some of this no problem prime essence kind of as my moisturizer essence primer today since I don't know what's gonna happen with this powder foundation I'm just gonna use this as an all-in-one so I'm gonna do that and we'll come back and get into this Maybelline concealer Okay, so with this Maybelline concealer, I'm just going to, I guess, conceal under my eyes some of the discolorations and dark marks on my face, like around my mouth is really bad, and just kind of try to even out my face a little bit before I go in with this powder foundation because I don't know what to expect, what the coverage is going to be, how it's going to feel, so... Um, hopefully this concealer isn't too, too light. Oh, it's not too, too light. It's not bad. Looks like it's going to have a decent amount of coverage, too. Hmm. Okay. All right, Maybelline. Let's see what's cracking. This feels so weird to me because I'm so used to concealing you know, after foundation, so. But if I like this powder, then maybe I can try a new technique when I don't wanna use heavy liquid foundation. I get that mustache. it actually did cover up my dark circles fairly well if I wanted to go in with a little bit more I'm pretty sure it would completely cover them so I'm not mad at it and it's definitely covering up the dark areas around my mouth I didn't use a lot because I do want to see the coverage on the rest of my face for this foundation so I'm trying not to go ham with this concealer but I do want to cover up the obvious dark marks on my face but so far I actually really like this concealer okay so let's jump into this born this way oil-free multi-purpose complexion powder <laughs> like I said I have spiced rum and I don't even know what type of brush to use you guys should I use like a flat top brush to just kind of press it into my face 
I don't know. I guess that's what I'm gonna do. But I'm just going to go in a bit just to see. Ooh, okay, kicking up a bit now. Just to kind of see what happens when I put it on. Concealer good. I don't know if this is the right type of brush. Maybe I need a larger brush because this seems like it's gonna take forever. Okay, so I have this dark area right here. I'm gonna put some specifically right there to see what happens. Hmm, okay. Okay, that's not bad. It's not like just like miraculously instantly covering it, but it's definitely muting it down. It feels fairly light. It doesn't feel heavy or anything, but it does seem like this is going to be a bit more work than I like. <laughs> like it's gonna take me forever. So uh, I'm going to use a larger powder brush and see if that goes a little bit quicker. I probably should have put, should I put my lighter powder on first under my eyes, you guys? Well, just looking at this side of my face compared to this side of my face, it's definitely giving me some coverage. Yeah, I'm gonna put a lighter powder under my eyes just to brighten a little bit first. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of my Revolution Banana Powder under my eyes just to set that concealer in place before I do my whole face with this foundation. This is so weird to me, you guys. I'm so out of my element right now with this powder foundation. I'm like, what do I do first? Second and third? <laughs> okay. But I'm low key hoping I like it because sometimes I don't wanna put on a full face of foundation, you know? And because I have so much hyperpigmentation, I really don't have a choice. Okay, so now that I have my under eyes brightened a bit, I'm just going to go over that with some of this foundation powder. In my opinion, this seems like something that would be good for, you know, people who don't need full, full coverage like I do, because, you know, even though I'm just kind of gently packing this on I feel like it's never going to give me the amount of coverage that I like <laughs> no matter how much I put on mm, I see this as being for people who you know just want kind of a light to medium coverage or it would be nice to add an extra bit of coverage to set your regular foundation I'm definitely going to try it like that next because I actually really like it as a setting powder. I like what it's doing to my face. You guys tell me down in the comments what you think. You know, this is all new to me, so. And I'm just kind of swirling my brush in here and just patting it all over my face, trying to make sure I get it evenly coated all over my face. So it's actually not bad. I mean, I'm not mad at it, you guys. I'm really not. I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, do I feel like it's giving me the same coverage as the liquid foundation? No, but it's not bad. And probably using a concealer that is really my favorite or even going in with the Maybelline with another coat because I can see a little bit of my darkness coming through here, but I know if I would have put a little bit more on and blended it out, it would be fine. Like this eye looks fine to me as far as coverage. I'm okay with that. But yeah, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it at all, you guys. I mean, I feel like I'm putting a lot on because <laughs> I just keep going in, swirl and pat, swirl and pat, you know, but I wanna make sure that I have a good even coverage all over my face before I move on so even if I just end up using it as a setting powder I like it I do I already like okay, it okay you guys so I'm going to go in with my morphe glamour bronze and just kind of you know really contour and add some dimension to my face like I always do Okay, and 
And so for blush today, I want to use one of my new NYX blushes. This is the Sweet Cheeks and it is in the color Red Riot. This is what their new blushes look like. This is one of the matte ones. I think they have like three shimmery ones and three matte ones. Y'all know I'm a matte girl, so this is the one I'm using today. Hello. <laughs> I love these blushes, you guys are so pretty and nicely pigmented. It's okay to add a little flush of color in other areas of your face too. Doesn't have to just be your cheeks, but don't go crazy though. Okay, and for highlight, I'm using a new palette that I got from Makeup Revolution. It's not a new palette by them at all. It's been out for a long time, but it's new to me. I actually ordered this when I ordered all of my animal, wild animal palettes. And if you watch that video, you know that all of those palettes came broken. Every last one of them, I had to reorder them. This one came broken as well, damaged. I haven't even used it and you can see how crazy it looks. And it's actually missing a whole highlighter, but I didn't want to go through the hassle of reordering it because most likely I'm just going to use these darker ones anyway. <laughs> so I'm going to go into this one here to highlight today. Ciao. Hello. I don't know if y'all can see that. I can't look that way <laughs> in the camera and see at the same time, but uh, it's she popping, okay? It is she popping. I hope y'all can see that. So I'm going back into my Morphe brush set because they don't have face brushes in this particular set. So I was using my own face brushes, but I'm going back into the set and I'm taking this Morphe M139. It's a smaller brush actually, compared to the rest of the brushes. I don't know why it's shorter, but it is shorter. <laughs> and I'm going to use this for the rest of my highlighting. Y'all, this highlighter palette is low key kind of bomb, okay? It's pretty, it's like, it gives that super duper glow kind of like wet look but it's not giving me too too much texture i don't feel like it's giving me too much texture a little bit which all of them do but not like crazy texture and i'm gonna add just a little bit of this to my brow bone y'all don't sleep on this highlighter palette this is pretty nice i mean i only got five out of six shades <laughs> left but I got the ones that I want okay so I ain't mad at it okay so back to these eyes so I'm gonna go in with some of my black pencil eyeliner from Milani this is the stay put eyeliner and going back into the palette I'm going to take that really pretty dark blue shade and use that very very close to my lash line and whew. okay and so now i'm going to use this tiny little brush here which is the e36 okay that's pretty i like this brush you guys this is really really nice for lower lash line work i mean it put that shadow right where I wanted it to go and nowhere else okay very very nice this is what it looks like this is what it looks like okay and now I'm going to go into this gorgeous wine shade here and just kind of smoke that out a little bit beneath that blue Ooh, running out of brushes okay so next I have this is ridiculous I have the M506 and this is what this brush looks like. So another nice small detail crease brush. I'm just going to use that to smudge out that blue with this wine shade. I'm always afraid to use larger blending brushes on my lower lash line because it can get crazy really quickly. So I like to use smaller brushes just so I have more control. 
Okay, now look, I know I said I was going to try out this Viva Mac lipstick no matter what I did with my eyes, but I just cannot put red lipstick on with this purple eye look. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it for you guys just in case you wanna know like what kind of red it is if you're thinking about getting it. Oh, this packaging is so gorgeous. Oh my gosh, it's so freaking pretty. And this is how it swatches. I like these type of lipsticks where it's like, it's matte but it's not like that crazy super dry matte you know it's a comfortable matte but that is the color of this 25th Viva Glam MAC lipstick okay super duper pretty okay so for lips I'm gonna go in with my ColourPop lippies from the Shayla proceed with caution collection and it's the BFF 4 and this one is slowed down and I'm gonna to top that off with some of my Milani lip gloss. Okay, and to set this look today, you guys, I'm going to use my Pixi Glow Mist, which I got in my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus this month as well. I got some really good stuff in my Ipsy bag. <laughs> I'm gonna be using this stuff, okay? I have to be careful with this stuff because it does have argon oil in it, I think. Some kind of oil. So, you are guaranteed to glow, okay? Okay, you guys, so just a recap on how I achieved this super duper bronzy glowy look today. <laughs> like girl you looking kind of bronzy today um Too Faced multi-use powder powder foundation I like it I like it first impression I like it my face doesn't feel all heavy and cakey I think it gives a decent enough coverage of course you guys saw I had to use some of this Maybelline concealer which I also like by the way I'm definitely using this again probably in my next video on top of some liquid foundation um just to you know test it out that way but i like this stuff but i definitely had to go in with this ahead of time to kind of even out my skin a little bit you know touch up the dark areas but i like this stuff and i can't wait to try it out i think i'm really going to use this when i want some of those kind of lazy just concealer and powder days definitely so I'll be testing this out some more first impression. I ain't mad at it, okay? This Milani palette, I'm glad that I didn't just kinda get frustrated and say forget it and move on to the next palette. <laughs> Cause y'all know I got about 20 palettes looking at me right now that I need to use, but I'm glad that I did go back in and play with it because I actually really like this eye look. I think the glitters in here are gorgeous, okay? Even if you don't like glitter, you can create a beautiful kind of wine colored red look that blue is mad pigmented okay when i mixed it with you know this color here of course it kind of turned it into a deep purple but you can even do a blue look with this blue shimmer here um there's gold in here a nice kind of brick red there are a lot of different options for this palette. You know what, y'all? I forgot my inner corner highlight. How can I be glowing without an inner corner highlight? I'm going to take this color here and pop it in my inner corner right quick. Okay, now that my inner corner is complete. <laughs> so these brushes, these are all the brushes that I use today for this eye look, <laughs> which is not abnormal for me because your girl can use some brushes okay so i used a good amount of the brushes in this set this is what i have left over that i didn't use so as you can see this is an excellent set of brushes to create any type of eye look i mean the only thing that i would say is missing is the flat shader brush i think it is you know just one of those brushes like a brush like this that's flat so that you can use it for like shimmers and glitters and stuff to kind of tap or carve out a cut crease or something like that. This set does not have any type of flat 
shader brush. So that kind of sucks because to me that is critical. <laughs> <laughs> for me at least when creating eye looks so other than that this is an excellent set it is this is really nice now do I feel like you need to pay $52 for a starter eye brush set no definitely not Beach Cosmetics has some beautiful bomb excellent brush sets for like 20 bucks so you know if you're just starting out you do not need these at all you know but if you want to kind of try out some different brushes and you don't mind paying $52 for a set it's not bad and with BH Cosmetics though you will get eye brushes and face brushes not just eye brushes okay so anyways that's my thought on those I like them I'm gonna use them do you need to spend $52 on them brushes negative that's a no <laughs> so that's it for this little makeup try on sit down kick it whatever <laughs> today you guys hopefully you have some fun hanging out with me trying out these new products and i will see you on my next video toodles